So this is episode one of the Moped Files. I thought about calling this the Ped Files, but that's just a terrible name. So I'm not gonna call it that. It's the Moped Files. <laughs> There's nothing to this. I'm just a guy who has a camera, who has a life, who's living his life. And I've been starting to find joy and just getting my moped and going around and, and finding sites like this. Anyways, um, I think I'm gonna keep doing this. I think I'm probably gonna evolve to a motorcycle, but I love the feeling that I get from from the anticipation and the wandering and the, the being in awe. I bought these boots, they're super nice boots. I decided that I would inscribe them with the name of the place that I ventured to after I completed the adventure. So I'll inscribe it after this adventure. And this is uh, my moped. This is what makes it all happen. I love this thing. I don't know what the people means. I feel like it's significant because I like people. Um, here's the moped from this angle. And right now we're gonna take off and get on the road with the soothing music and these beautiful views. This is this is my life on the moped and occasionally you'll see another one and you'll say, what up? So I ended up in some random beach city in Multikeo and I'm gonna uh, hop onto a ferry and go to a, a town called Clinton. Good afternoon and Clinton. welcome to Motorcyclists are putting my moped to shame, but I can handle it. This would be a terrible time to drop my phone. Just right, right into the water. But these things are waterproof, so I'd lose it forever, but it wouldn't break. That's the amazing thing. Yeah. So I ended up getting to this town called Clinton. It's in the north of Washington. And I spent my time uh, going to cafes. This was the Useless Bay Cafe. And I tried espresso whipped cream for the first time, and it was delicious. Go ask for it, and if the cafe doesn't have it, say, hey, I have a great business proposition for you. I also found this man or woman who carves this beautiful wooden sculptures, and I admired it for a bit on the road until it seemed like I was being weird, and I kept going. And then, after 10 hours of travel, I finally returned home to talk about the epiphanies that I learned from today's adventure. The, the main takeaway that I want to talk about from this specific journey was the idea of anticipation and the role of anticipation in your life. I feel like sometimes when I get depressed or sad, it's because I'm getting too ingrained in a certain routine or a certain way of thinking, or there's, there's nothing that's expanding me. There's no new novel experiences. There's no sense of adventure or learning. Essentially, there's no dopamine or anticipation. And I obviously love psychology. If you look at this channel, I'm all about it. Dopamine is the thing that is anticipating reward. And when you're feeling dopamine, you're feeling good. My message for this specific diary is look for the dopamine in your life that can make life novel and new and exciting and uncertain and, and fun. You shouldn't orient your whole life off of dopamine because it's an endless cycle. What is new will become familiar and if you if you have contempt for what is familiar, then you're just gonna be on that treadmill your whole life. But don't fall to the other side either where you become numb or where, be, where you become um, so used to the habit that your life starts to lack any vitality. You wanna have the oxytocin and you wanna have the dopamine. So this is the end of vlog number one. I don't know where this is going, but do yourself a favor, go have an adventure. Get out of here already. Stop watching YouTube, what the hell?